All right, guys and gals. In this section, we're going to create an image slider for our site, which will sit at the top, right underneath our navigation menu right here. And because we're going to only use one image for this slider, it'll actually be called a hero image. There are a couple good ways to put an image slider on top of your site or on one of your pages, for example, or just to stick a big image in there. And I could show you that if you want but we're going to use the built-in feature with Customizer because we like how it looks with this gray feature and the button. It looks like we were logged out, so let's log in by putting the forward slash wp-admin after our domain name, clicking enter, and let's log in. Now we need to go to Appearance, Customize to get started creating our image slider which will actually be a hero image. And once we're here in Customize, just click on Content, and then click Front Page. We're gonna keep a static page, front page, blog, and so on, along with no sidebars, full width layout, and then come down to Slider Options. That's where we wanna get our hands dirty now. And in this case, we have the option to use the auto-generated slider from the posts, which pulls in the featured images from each of our blog posts. In our case, we only have one post now, so this slider shows one featured image we attached to the post a little while ago. Or you can use the option of the demo slider, which of course we don't want, although that's pretty cool in its own way. Or you can do no slider. Or, I'm just gonna put it back to auto-generated, we can create a slider. And uh, we saw that button for a second, if you go to no slider, it says you haven't created any slider yet. Go to media, edit your images, and add them to sliders. And you can click the green create a slider button. But we're not going to do that now because it's a little more difficult than using the auto-generated slider. And we think this actually looks really good. If you're curious about this green button option for create a slider, just let me know in the comments and I'll help you go that route. But for now, we're going to stick with auto-generated slider. And once you have that set up, one post to display. We can see that once we choose auto-generated slider, it automatically finds our featured image. And then just come down and we're gonna get the settings right. So we're gonna uncheck include only sticky posts. And we're gonna keep display the title checked and display the excerpt checked because in Customizer, this slider option reads the blog post that you've already published and pulls in some of the content as a preview. And that's a nice feature that not many other WordPress themes have these days. So leave these two options checked and we're going to link post with the call to action button but you could also link the entire slide to make the image clickable or you could do the entire slide and the call to action button which is a lot to click on but maybe you want to go that route. In our case, just call to action button so we can get people clicking on the button. Then further down, let's uncheck full width slider because our image that we're going to use is going to line up on the left with the home button and on the right with our tagline. That's how we want it. Leave the delay at 5000, the slider's height at 700, and make sure apply this height to all sliders is checked and replace the default image slider site is not checked. Once you've gotten all those settings in there, we're ready to insert the image we're actually going to use, which is our collage. So first, save and publish. And now let's X out. All right. And the place to actually insert the image into this slider is in the blog post because like we said, the slider pulls in the featured images from blog posts. So let's open up Kitten's First Feast and we can see in the lower right our featured image is the kittens eating out of the bowl and if we look at the site that's exactly what shows up in the slider because that's how it works. Alright, but we want to change that image so let's click remove featured image and now click set featured image and in our media library, we can find the collage that we built using photor.com and select it with the check mark. 
and then just click set featured image and because this image is already a good width and height it should look good when it's inserted onto our home page click set featured image and then click update on the post and then almost like magic when we refresh the site that image will come in and we now have set up our image slider using our image collage that we made a little while ago we have just two more steps now before we're done creating this image slider aka a hero image now you might ask why we're using a hero image instead of an image slider and the reason is that user experience experts realized that people didn't like looking at scrolling images so much at the top of websites and they realized it's not too long ago the problem is when you see some information you want to read before you're done reading it it scrolls to the right or the left and there's another image and then before you're done with that it scrolls and that can annoy people what people really want these days is just to get to the point and to help them get to the point you can use a hero image with one big clear message and that's it you'd be amazed how powerful being simple with your messages is and this is just one example of doing that plus if you really think about it when you're on a website like Amazon for example how often do you really read the content that's scrolling back and forth at the top you mainly just want to get to the point and find whatever it is you're looking for like some products that's just another trend these days alright so back on the site we have two more things we want to do before we're done creating the hero image the first thing is to remove this text right here because it's a little bit too much to read alright so we're gonna go back to customize click content again click front page and then we're actually gonna uncheck display the excerpt which will get rid of that subtext alright so now we have just a clear title with the uh, overlay background and the button color and of course you can change the button color at any time save and publish and I'm going to show you a little trick which is to right click on the logo and click open link in new tab so we can preview while keeping the customize window open alright so that's looking better and you're also going to want the sliders edges to line up with the rest of your site with the whole structure and to do that I've written out some custom CSS you just need to copy paste and to do that all we need to do is go back to customize and we're gonna leave the front page area click back click back and now come down to advanced options alright and now click custom CSS and you don't have to write any CSS out because I know that you guys think that's tricky even though I think it's fun and uh, what I've done is I've actually written out some CSS for you which is something we do in a lot of my tutorials all you need to do now is just copy paste this in so what you're gonna do is come to the video notes right here which will look a lot like this on naraiguy.com and that link will be in the video notes below this video just come here where you should be coming often to make your site look perfect and professional and ready to go ready for the world and just copy from line 20 to line 1 and if it's a little more lines like 21 or 31 or something that's fine just copy everything in hero image alignment so I've highlighted it gonna right click copy and then we're gonna come back to customize and in this dark colored custom CSS window just paste and what that does is will make your site responsive and it will make sure the hero image is the right size no matter what computer your audience is looking at it on which is a really important uh, aspect of web design sometimes we do this at the end of the video but for now I knew you guys would want the hero image to look good now and for some reason it copy pasted the numbers so make sure you delete those numbers too we don't need those we just need this portion you can see right here on my screen all right so if it copy paste the numbers then get rid of those save and publish all right and now when we refresh the site the hero image should look just like it should like this and it'll line up with the rest of our site all right great job things are looking very professional and you've made some great progress